to be here late. When I was about to come here, the Lord asked me to wait. That there is something he wants me to see. So I said, am I waiting? The people are waiting. And he said, no. That you need to go to the church with a message. I have not always loved excessive prophetic. That is maybe because I, I study physics. I, I don't naturally like things that are very weighed. That is something that is out of proportion. Which, which is the life of seers. I've always struggled with something that is, you know, the prophetic life. The prophetic life is a weird life. Now, but The Lord started telling me that there is need for me to see what he wants me to understand. And since that time I've been thinking I've lost my peace. I want to understand. What I'm saying is not for everybody. It's not children's message. But I'm happy I'm saying it online. And then, you know, those of us who are here, who are supposed to hear. I saw, I saw death. That is a killer from God. And, and um, that's the first time I'm seeing that killer. In fact, the, the killer came to me in the afternoon when I was preaching, when I was writing, and uh, I was editing, and then I fell asleep. I saw, I saw that killer kill a saint. 
So I was wondering, why will a killer, why will a killer kill a saint? Why will, what have a saint done? I didn't get the answer. When I got home, you know, when he said, don't rush out, the killer came back to me in the house and killed somebody outside the sanctuary. That is like an unbeliever. And then he said, I've completed the killing, so I want you to watch to know what the people need to hear. He said to me, he said, naturally, some people might not really care about the message, but speak it, because it will not be forgotten. So I said, why is a killer killing? Then the Lord said to me, that if the avenger, if the avenger of the brethren is not produced, and the boundary wall set between the profound and the holy, that the angel will not know the difference between the holy and the profound. So I said, what do you mean? He said, there is, there is a need for the church in October in 21 years to produce a messiah of the people who is the lion of Judah then he said if the messiah is not produced by the church to succor the world in this precarious time he said there will be no difference between the church and the world He said, the problem that is on earth is beyond this time. It's beyond, it's beyond what, what we used to know. He said, it's no longer a problem that the normal practice of Christianity can solve. The normal casual prayer. The normal things we need to do then he said, I should tell you that for those who are doubting, that the signs are everywhere. The, he said, the signs, that these signs, what he's showing me, that the signs are everywhere. That the signs are practical signs. That it will not be religious signs. He said, people have already started dying. Then he's trying to tell me that more people will die in larger number. And then he said, the church is not exempted in this death, except they produce a helper. Because it is them that it is given to produce, yes, an avenger. An avenger of the brethren. And then he said, his, the anger, his anger will increase more upon people who are expected. Upon people who are expected to produce this avenger. He told me something. He said that I have been waging his hand in Locust Army. Then he said, it is not waging his hand that is as important as doing the work, producing the avenger. Because it is not a time of prayer to stop evil. It's time to produce the desire of all nations. I've never known it. Then he said to me that the job of producing this avenger is not everybody's job. I don't know whether somebody is hearing me. In case you don't know, I thank God that this is online. There are so many people that call themselves Lucas Army, but they are not. From their behavior. This is not a ministry you come to casually. But some people are casual. That is why some of them are not in this meeting. Or when we schedule something that involves a covenant meeting. 
they willingly ignore it. And then fools, if anything happened to them, fools will say they are members of that church. When they are actually not members. The time, from what God was telling me, it's not a time of church. It's over. It is a time to know your God. Because in the realm of the spirit, there is no difference between day and night anymore. Let me, let me say again. In the realm of the spirit, there is no between no, there's no difference between day and night anymore. The boundary walls between the dead and the living is broken. So the living has returned back to the the dead has returned back to the earth as spirits. Let me say it again. I said the dead has returned back to the earth as spirits, making demand urgent on their body to fulfill prophecy. And then the Lord said the pain will increase on those who have commission to solve this problem. There are those, please can I get voice on this? There are those who have who have who have mandate to solve this problem. I don't know what somebody said him. Then he said to me that those who have voice, who have mandate to solve this problem, are those that will pay more. So I was asking him, he said, the elimination, the elimination will start from the church in Nigeria and Asia. More. And then other nations that have responsibility. When I say the elimination, he was telling me that it is, it is the altar. It is the altar that will face calamity. First. Maybe somebody is not hearing what I'm saying. That the altar, that the altar will face calamity. And the, and the, the altar is already facing calamity. Then he said to me that the calamity will increase. That if the altar didn't wake up urgently to pay price that should stay away the hand of the angel of death. So he said to me, he said the signs of coronavirus that why is it difficult for sense to find out the symbol and people are making noise so he asked me the angel that brought coronavirus has he come has the angel come back so i kept quiet he said go and tell them that the angel have not gone back so he said and that angel will not go back Except the church produce an answer, and not all, not all the church, not everybody. Those that you know, when the angel of death comes, when people, when I say angel of death, it's not just killing, angel of calamity, because it's already a precarious time. They are declaring tribulation. When you see coronavirus, is is a tribulation agent. Now, when you see war everywhere, everywhere around the nations, it is a sign. Excuse me. You need to hear me tell you. The only thing that is keeping Nigeria from war since about 20 years is God. That is keeping this country from massacre. It's just God. Now, but the angel of massacre is already around. And uh, it is it is us. I mean, people that it is given. You know, but I 
I, you know, you know, kingdom people are not around. But I am thinking this morning from the altar that when pain increases, they will come out by force. People have made up their mind not to serve God. I know what I'm telling you. People have made up their mind not to be sincere. People have made up their mind to forsake God and then make the church a place of drama. People have made up their mind to be wicked, even so-called pastors. So, so the spirit of darkness has just come into the church to represent anarchy, confusion. There is no more fear. And the, the angel of death. You see, why we resume when the pressure, when the pressure on taking people from Lucas and High increased, I started coming to the altar. You know, I, I now got some people. I said, let's come to the altar every night. And we've been doing it. I didn't tell you why we are doing it. Sometimes prayer will go on in those who are praying outside there. Prayer will go on in the altar here. Prayer will go on in my office. Sometimes I try to coordinate them. I'll go outside and pray. Come inside here. Move around the compound. It's because there is something I am seeing since coronavirus started a sign. I'm not saying this because I'm afraid. Or I, I want us to start shouting or praying or I want to, I want us to think. Is it because, please hear me, whether men want it or not, this season will not be denied. This season and this, des the destiny of this season, this destiny I'm talking about is forcing itself on us. This situation is forcing itself on us. What I, why I'm saying what I'm saying is that I want us as individual people to run for our lives. Things that used to be different are no longer different. Pastors are behaving like <laughs> like, like that they are no more. They are not preachers. The, the issue that Levites that Levites should also get means of living. Levites is part of the problem of the church. When you tell a pastor that he should have his own business. So a pastor finished preaching and also coming to the market and started lying. And started lying like unbelievers. Because they are telling him that he needs to take care of himself. But this is somebody who, for his sake, that God should preserve others. So he's no longer, he doesn't care about, doesn't care about that anymore. He doesn't care. No, he doesn't care about that anymore. So he's also a businessman who go out in the market and do things other people do, lie like them, even lie more. And then he came back to start preaching to those who he was lying with in the market. Maybe somebody didn't hear what I said. Huh? Those, those, are, those are not about Sophia. I said, my, 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 my 250,000 court. my court. He had been a pastor, 250,000 naira court. Ni mafia. And then after the pastor finished taking that court and lying, he will now, he will now come back to preach. That is what came into the church. So, we have an MD who is a half a, who is a half a cultic man. He has five wives. He's a smoker. Huh? he's a smoker and then 
he knows how to divert money and he's also a preacher. You are looking at me, you don't know what happened outside. Transactions. If those things that happen outside, if a man of God leave the altar and go and drink the water of that thing that happened outside, how does he preach? And then somebody is saying, we have to, you know, you have to get a means of eating. In the ancient time, are there no people, are, are there no people who kept themselves holy for other people? So that when you come into the inner sanctuary, when you come to the sanctuary, there are divisions. There are divisions. There, there is inner sanctuary, the outward sanctuary, there is a holy of holies. Now that partition wall is already broken. So I saw a killer. And uh, I also don't know why the conscience of believers have been so much smeared by the angel of darkness. Why the conscience of has so much been smeared that no matter how something evil and outrageous is happening, nobody cares. So, the, so instead of being children of God, they hire false prophets who manipulate miracles. And then nobody can spot this thing out and say this is wrong. When I became a preacher, the first group of people that invited me to meeting, that invited me to outreach, even the first group was what they call prayer band in Kano. What they were in Kano to do was they were watchdogs. That is people who pray for church in city. They were not, they were not a church, but they were a group. Now what they tried to do is to pray like the way Lagos is. They pray for the church in Lagos and the city of Lagos. Now, their major job that time is to go and warn pastors. That if a pastor is doing what is wrong, they will, they will go to his office and say, we have heard what you are doing and God asks us to warn you to stop that. Now, we don't have those believers anymore. Those kind of believers. I, I don't know, I don't know whether it's entertainment that we do in a precarious time, tell you what you want to hear, or I should tell you the truth. You know, because we are in a precarious time when people are not, you know, the conscience of people are seared already. So when you, when you preach a particular message, instead of people looking at that message and trying to be blessed from it and turn from it, they get angry. You know what is going on? Huh? He say, he say that we doesn't like that way that that, that, that that message was preached. Somebody at the pew He's saying he doesn't like the way that message. Hi, my God. So there is no more patience. There's no more godliness. And yet the evil, people are dying. Excuse me. Excuse me. We will not be standing here and watch a radical take over our lives. Make the church voiceless. And then the church become a place of rat race. Where people are making effort to manipulate things that are not real. Excuse me. I'm going to pray one, pray, one question, one prayer. Because I told you, I have got you ready for this message of the I want to preach on the communion table of the Nazarites. For I know this message 23 years. 
It's not now I know it. I know it when I was a young person in Kano. But I've never preached it anywhere until this Passover service started coming. Because it is, the Lord said to me, it is, even though you've known it for 23 years, it is now that that message should be preached. October 1, 2021. For those that have ear to hear, that want to hear, and those that doesn't want to hear, but they will see the sign of God. Like I said, I saw where they turned a particular believer to a vegetable yesterday in the afternoon. And I was asking, because I know the face, I was asking the angel, I said, this face did what to turn to vegetable? He said, we are not talking about deed. We are talking about precarious time. When the date is invading the earth and the partition wall between those who are sanctified and those who are outside the sanctuary is already broken. Father, we want to ask you to bring sanctification. Can I ask you to pray? Bring sanctification. Lord, by by the blood Lord bring sanctification into our soul bring godliness it, it, let the refiner the refiner of the heart of the brethren come back to the sanctuary Larusotolo brakalanas Shalutu separate of my atala. Sent splon on Toscala. Forge our hearts. Lord, with your high soap, with your high soap, forge our hearts. Separate. The outer layer from the inward layer. Wash us with your water. The water of your word. Somebody, can I hear you? Can I hear you pray? Lano Sotolo. Deliver us from deception. From deception. The deception of this time deliver us from corporate blindness. The lasciviousness of this season. The evil concupiscence. Lord, help us to be free. Withdraw those who are made for inner sanctuary. Withdraw us into the inner sanctuary. Preserve the earth, O oh God. Sotolia rakaya la baba shata la la baba. Zeli matoro kala baba basanta la baba. Zila toro kala la baba basanta. Jedi no thala raba ya shakada. Jedi le rebo basanta la. Somebody, I can't hear you. Excuse me. You, you heard. You heard that the founder of the biggest church in the world is dead. That is to make you to understand. We are no longer talking about a crowd. And that church is about one million. In one Sunday. And yet the man died. Now if the crowd was what matters. Why didn't the crowd save a man? And what is I'm afraid of is Nigeria is one of the nations on, on the watch list, precarious, serious.
this is the time if I see 10 people it, it, it's not a time of everybody anymore huh? so we're not even talking about prayer that will let us do prayer as usual no and the, father Kalamama Santo Lora Capatas Spronto Lubran Sproto Maya Kalaba Zeya La Capada. Excuse me. There are people, believers, who God called. But people in the church are persuading them to forget what God told them. Because of modernism. Excuse me. The world have done everything. Don't forget that. That don't forget that one of the most civilized nations in the world is China. And then yet coronavirus started from Wuhan. Spread to America. Killed more Americans more than any other person. Today is ravaging Japan. Now these are cities that are known for technology. Huh? That, that at the time that they have to quarantine the prime minister of, of what is his name now? Bur Bur Boris Johnson. Do you know what it means? For a, a, for a particular wave not to again separate runs. So everybody is running for his life because of precarious season. When I had all these things and I was I, I said Lord this thing I'm saying is really for people. People want small small things they want to eat. They want children's desires. They, they want to buy a car. Do they, would they want to hear it? They want little blessings of having a house. They want little, little blessings. Can, can they be big enough to think about something that is large into nations? So he says, say it first. And I don't know because I want to preach. I don't know the next prayer. What we should actually pray. And to know whether we want to really pray it. Because it's an evil season. Maybe this is Lucas Army meeting. Please. I don't want success more than obedience. I want to obey God. That's why I'm planning to go to monastery. I have given God anything. And if there's anything I have not given him, when I come from this altar, I will give it to him. Including my life. I will tell somebody yesterday, I said, if God asked me to open my office and put my first leg on the step and fall and come and meet him, I will leave whatever I'm doing immediately and go outside and fall. I don't want to stay here for any other reason. Not even in a small way. If God asks me to come and meet him from now, I'm talking, excuse me, I'll be 100% happy. 100. Is he hearing me? I wouldn't think any other thing. May God forbid me not to, th to think any other thing. That is why if you look at the way I walk, you know I walk like a man that wants to die. That's where I walk. I give God everything like a man that wants to die. In fact, I'm not alive. You know it. He's not talking in the altar. He's only a man that wants to kill himself that I think of making those six books. Do you know what has happened to me in six weeks? 
The king knows I am only here for him. 100%. 100. Not 90. Not just only here for him. I am only here for him every minute. When I preach that message, I preach on the Mamed. I'm going to preach on Mamed on, on Sunday. Ordinance and Mamed. Now, when I preach that message, I, I preach on Tuesday. For 18 hours. I didn't have peace. I had to be praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. When I lie down, I'll be praying. No, I woke up, I'll pray. Because I know how dangerous it is. Now, some people don't even know. Maybe a native doctor need to tell you. Not maybe Bible anymore. Need to tell you to know how dangerous it is to have a church by the coast. And yet somebody came into this compound and saw that this church is in the midst of the sea. And it's casual. And this sea, uh, if you go outside now, that thing that is outside the water is not sissy. Huh? And somebody cannot think to know that the spirit that brought us here is ready for war. Because this is a precarious time. Father, thank you because you are equipping us. Somebody asked for equipment. Protect us. Build a wall around the people. Close prono take clouds, blood of sky. Bredo kosaladana. Onyeka gasino ibia. Onye 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 ka. Come Every time I see another breaking how the day I see thank you Lord thank you Lord Na 
upon special people there are people that are meant for this season but the God of this world have also cast spell this cloth upon them they're supposed to understand this time they're supposed to take responsibility for this time but Satan have also succeeded in diverting them wherever these prophets are wherever these women are in the world Wherever these special vessels are, those that it was given to by God to be intercessors over your will in this season. But they have drowned like ordinary people. Lord, because you're a purifier with fire, I am asking you to wherever they are, wherever they are in Nigeria, wherever they are in Israel, wherever they are in Asia Dominion, wherever they are in India wherever they are in Africa I call them I call them out of their confusion I ask the Lord to judge to judge the evil demons that are covering these particular people they are not meant to be covered they are not meant to be ignorant but they are not living like every other, every other person Lord, wherever these men and women are, I'm asking you to deliver them. Take away the veil of their covering so that they can go back to their calling. These people have a, a, a calling. Please, please, can you take that thing down? These people have an original calling. But, but tonight, they are seduced out of the way. Some of them have joined prosperity preaching, excessive wealth, and this thing is not their life. They, they came with the spirit of Elijah to purify saints, and now they, they have been corrupted. Wherever they are, I'm not talking about everybody, I'm talking about those that should be in this gap. Lord, wherever they are, take away their peace until they return. Can we pray for such people? Masato lo kara la babas, zelia rato sakatala, lezoro to paras kalaba, yella ruske na la la baba. Excuse me. When the time of prayer here ended yesterday, I was still there in my office. And then suddenly the church was, was quiet. It's like, an, it's like a, an angel came to me and said, out of those who prayed that prayer in that church and, and went home, should there not be people who on their own understand that wonders of the last age is coming and stay behind to do extra things on their own? Must a child of God be told everything? People that we are called by God to serve Him in a unique way has become like every other person. So even if they see you do any other strategy, they say, What is he trying to do? What is that? That this is a modern time. Which modern time? Don't forget that the announcer of this season is the spirit of Elijah. And this is belong to Messiah. 
What has a messiah to do with messianic priest have to do with the modernism? Is it because you came to church with laptop? How does laptop catch demon? You came with a your preacher with iPod. With what has, has it changed anything? Excuse me, with all this civilization, has life been touched? Have been life been touched in a special way? What is going on? Let's go around ourselves, bringing some small, small little machines. And then the machines are, the machines are causing more problems. Uh, has, excuse me, has the issue of more sicknesses not come from, come from, what do we call it, from chemicalization of the earth? Huh? People are losing their breath. Cancer is increasing. Failures of organs. Was it like that before? This is coming from some of these chemicals we are using. So the earth is not, it's not moving forward, just that people are deceiving themselves. And the original people, just like what I'm struggling here this night at this altar, the original people of God have been deceived. I'm struggling here this night to see clearly what they are showing me because of fear. Even when a pastor receives a message from the church, from God, to deliver, he comes into the church and becomes afraid. Because he doesn't want to lose members. Is that what's going on? Huh? He doesn't want to lose. He will forget what God said and started like, let us be, let us run five services. The one million services on Sunday morning has it changed anything? What it has done is to teach your pastors new way of of being gullible, swindling people. Is it not? Huh? The five services is, is a business center. Huh? I say it's what? Excuse me. If it's not business center, how can a service run ninety minutes? It's only a business center that will, that will make a man of God run a service for 90 minutes. That is everything. Song go praise or prayer, preaching. Huh? Open, open prayer and petition, just 90 minutes. It's only a business center. And then when that crop of people is turned out, Another another customer. The interest is the tight. But you should tell those people who are doing that in Nigeria that young Joe is already dead. And they will soon die. Now, if they die, their business center will not count before Yahweh. Let me say again. I say, if they die, their business centers will not count. Their business centers will bring more shame to their persons. Father, let the veil be taken. Can you pray in a minute so that I can talk about the communion table? Take away, take away, oh God. The veil that is covering even sense. Veil covering people that should not be covered. That is what I'm saying. If that veil is covering those that should be covered, we should not be worried. But if that veil is covering those that should not be covered by veil, then we should be worried. Father, take away the struggling from us that we might do your will. Take away the struggling from us. 
Bring back the hour of sacrifice. Bring the hour of dedication. Bring the hour of consecration. Help us to be refocused on the Savior. Lord, refocus the people. Arise, O God, and judge the nations. Judge the nations. Judge the nations. Maya Soto Lord of Babayas. Ye Gratulas. Ye Tolo Brana Sat. Bratoya Lat Storia. Thank you, Lord, because you've. You have answered. Jesus, Mary, name. You may be seated. The communion table. Of the Nazarites. Onyega. Gasino de Kage Onye 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 Gam Gasino Iri Ibuchine Kemo I say, I say, I Holy Spirit, I, 
I feel very uncomfortable here this night, I, what you're showing me. I'm begging you, please, reposition us. Reposition us. We can we can't claim to be ignorant. Let those who are not ignorant not be deceived by those who can see. I'm begging you. This season is dangerous. Lord, help us. There are things we can't deny because we are seeing them. Help us to be repositioned. Particularly those who are who you are going to hold responsible. It's not everybody. The angel said, we cannot hide this thing from Abraham. There are Abrahams that we know that Sodom is about to be destroyed. Where are they? Those that have understanding of this age, this season. Those that must make intercession to make sure that calamity didn't come upon the nations. Didn't come upon Nigeria. Where are they? They should not be politicians. These men should not be senators. They, they, they should not be governors. They are men and women of the inner sanctuary. They are not meant to be popular before men, but they are popular before you. Call them inside. And let them have boldness to stand in the gap, to stay the hand of the angel of death. Lord, bring a sanctification over this house. Refocus this house. Refocus our understanding. Uh -uh. Take us into the inner place where we should take responsibility for this season. Thank you. You know, something happened. In the book of Genesis, when God created man, God said to Adam, if you are truly my own and you want to be different from others, there is meal you must not eat. He said, Adam, you can't eat it. You cannot eat this. Is it not how God relates with men? Today, everybody is eating everything. And then some people who are eating whatever they want to eat, still eat those things, and they still want not to die. They eat meal of death and still want God to keep them alive. How? There is a table of life and table of death. There are ordinary tables. The Nazareth, Nazareth communion table is not like every other table. I just said that to introduce what I'm about to preach. I didn't come here to come and do ordinary normal preaching. Genesis chapter 2. Don't forget. I don't want to get emotional in this altar tonight. I don't want to get confused. I want to tell you God's mind. Totally. From scripture. 
And then to be able to tell you what this time is all about. Because we are also in the time. We are around. Whatever we are trying to decide this time might not really help us. Like eating the last meal, eating the right meal. Like eating the right meal and being a people. If you because this season has a guardian angel, and then if we want to be safe, we should eat the meal of the angel. There, I'm, I'm going to bring that the Nazarite. When you look at that chapter 2, verse 7 and 8, Genesis. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and man became a living, a living soul. soul. Number 8, and the Lord God, and the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and, and he, there he put the man whom he, he had formed. Number 9. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight. And good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden. And the tree, tree of knowledge of good and evil. Number 10. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from now, there... Now, go back to 9. And out of the ground... Okay, all right. Go back to 15. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Number 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Now, when God said, Thou shalt surely die, did God really mean it? Does, did God just say it? Excuse me, please hear me. The reason that the reason that the walls, the partition wall between the holy and the profane is already broken is because the pastors have started, shepherd has started eating grass. Let me say it again. I said shepherds have started Shepherds have started eating grass. What I mean by eating grass is that shepherds are already they want to live like other like the flock. They forget the difference between them and flock. They are they also shepherds eat grass. Excuse me. You will not know how much I've been wounded. As I'm here in this altar, there are things I see. I can't deny. I know the way. But what get me flabbergasted is that does this generation want to follow that way? Excuse me. It is possible for a church to be big without having life. Do you know what it means for a big man of God to be carrying machine in his body? Do you know what that means? Carrying all manner of iron they put on him in India. And he's preaching with it. Because he's sick. And the younger ones don't care about what made him sick. If you look at that Genesis, God said to Adam, if you eat it, you will die. And in chapter 3, Adam ate it and died. That means there are food that kill people. Excuse me. Don't think I'm joking. It, one of the ways to know who you are is through what you eat. So Nazarites 
has their own communion table. And I'm going to tell you what their communion table is all about. And that, when I say Nazarite communion table, I am talking about the very last communion table. This communion table that is here is not the last. The last communion table is the Nazarite. And this communion table here you see is not a Nazarite communion table. If you look at chapter 322 of the book of Genesis, Genesis 3.22 And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of and us. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us. To know good and evil. Yes. And now lest they put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life. And eat. And live forever. So, God said, You can eat it. So there are certain meal that belong to certain people because of their uniqueness. Because meals has power. Meals has, have power of life and death. If you look at 22, 1 and 2 of Revelation, the Bible is not talking about another meal. Excuse me. Let me tell you something. There are people like, you know, blindness is a great evil. There are people that the only time they cry is when calamity happen but when they are in a path that we end them they don't cry when they are preparing themselves for death they don't care about it it is when people fall or when evil happens people start shouting but when people were getting ready for that no they didn't shout That's why they said that pa the pastor, that pastor is, should be a contractor. The pastor is a budget contractor. The pastor is a contractor in Abuja. Why not? He should bring his own quotations. He should. No, he should bring his own quotations. And then the pastor went and made the MD. I say, you know, in that quotation now, you, have, you know, you have to put five million on top. I say, okay, no, now, now we settle it. Shame. Shame. God is even angry when few people do it. Now a pastor is doing it. And when he finished that quotation, he will come and start preaching. Because he believed that his God is God is blind, that anybody can do anything and still serve him. If you look at, excuse me, let me ask you to listen. We should find out why Jesus rose from the grave and why Elijah went with his body. We should find out. We should not overlook it and say it, it just happened. It didn't just happen. There was a part. There was a part. If we are here to gather here on Synod next week, gather here on Synod, gather here on, on anniversary, do we care about doing that meeting in the way it will bring glory to God or whatever we like other people are doing, we copy it. Uh, we, we do it to please ordinary few people who doesn't understand their nature. So that after people have stayed here, stayed here three days and go, this one time we have more problems. Uh, because this meeting will soon end. And everybody will go home. What matters is what God will be saying after you have gone home.
and I came here clean like a, a eunuch just to make you to understand that nothing else matters outside getting God happy not even getting people happy uh, not even getting blind people happy not even getting people who doesn't know their left and their right happy If you look at 22, the Bible said there is a leaf that heals. I will tell you about that leaf. Sometimes somebody says, Shepard, why are you preaching that? And that your preaching is deep and controversial. I say, excuse me, it's a meal of the altar. You don't know the altar. This is, this is the meal of immortality. Immortality has meal. Immortality has his life. Somebody said, I'm immortal. I say, excuse me, then you should get the life. You should get the life of your confession. I see somebody, somebody say, Shepard, why is why isn't I said I go extra mile to make intercession break myself just to see how people can be sustained. Excuse me, do I'm standing here? Do I look like somebody wanted do want anything? If I if I want anything, you know what I want as a man. Everything a man should have, I don't have any. I said everything. Everything a man should have, I don't have any. I've not made any attempt to have. I've not made no, I've not made any attempt. I will never have. So why is if I don't have what a man should have, what am I living for? You. And then somebody come the back again and say, "Well, I been shabbat. I like what? This place, this place where is in my house." Twenty-two, verse one and two of the book of Revelation. And he showed me a pure river of water of life. He showed me the pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding clear as, clear as crystal. out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Number two, and he said, in the midst of the street of it, and on the other side of the river was tree of life. The tree of life came back again. The which bear twelve manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month and the leaves of a tree were for the healing of the nations now the word healing there is not literal healing it's not this healing somebody have hiv healing somebody has uh, somebody has a uh, somebody has a uh, uh, has coronavirus not that the, this healing here is it can be translated from the original root as coming back as coming back reconcile you see because there are some things that doesn't have, at least i want to emphasize this before i go deep into the communion table there are things that doesn't happen to people huh, when they are in a right place when they are in a right fellowship i want to get it very well when they eat right meal sometimes when a particular kind of messenger is with them let me say it again there are things that, that doesn't happen to people when a particular kind of messenger is is with them god said to abraham what about if i see 10 now those 10 are unique 10 And yet God can get 10. Because God believes in uniqueness. Can I? Micaiah said to Ahab, 
If you didn't come to me with Jehoshaphat, a righteous man, I will not tell you God's mind. So there are those ten. They, they were not there. And yet, Lot and the wife was delivered. So in 2030, God said, I am looking for a man in the gap. So God believed that people should be different. Reposition. Reposition. There are people that are miracles to the earth because they are bad. They are bad takes away the anger of God. Their presence takes away the anger of God. Now, if you're hearing me, you are and you are like those 10 people, or you're like the person in the gap, don't live like others because you are already a salt. You are a preservative agent. You are a reason why. So, you cannot be baptized into general baptism. If you are where they are counting money, and people are, are casual about counting money, you should be able to tell them that, they make God know that you are there where that money is being counted. And because you are there, proper account should be given. You are there when they are planning that program and some people are casual. Just because only you is there, what is right must be done. I'm talking about Excuse me, when you hear table, what table does is to connect realms. Table does, table connect realms. That is, meal, meal connect realms. Meal connect realms. Meal connect realms. Connect men to spirits. So the, the, that moment you put your, your hand in a bar, huh? your hand where? In a bar. And you want to put it in your mouth. There are things to care. You should care about the source of that bar. Excuse me, I am preaching to special people. We are talking about communion table. I have told local army pastors or important people of this army, listen, don't eat food carelessly. You are hearing my voice and you have gotten a wife already. And you love your wife. Take meal, 99% of your meal from your wife's hand. Even if it means carrying food to your office, to your shop, carry food from a house to your shop. When Jesus came to the earth, he came to the earth as a meal. I want to connect you to the 22 of the leaf because Jesus is that leaf. I'm about to go deep. I'm going to go deep into this. In fact, what the major thing I want to do here today is to preach. I want to show you that, excuse me, you might not get everything right all the time. But don't forget that it is from 70 you have SLS. I said, 
We are going to do graduation on Saturday next week. I, I said it is from 70 you have. So when you want to say in the certificate of school of ministry excellence, when you give 100% excellence, you also give 70. You give 80. The person that got 93 and 70, 72 or 71 are not the same. That one that have 93 has done better. But someone who is 71 is in the same class. So God is not saying that that everything should be 100% all the time. But you should live with some consciousness. But consciousness of life itself. John 6, 48. Can you go ahead? He said, I am the bread of life. 49. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are there. Now, if you look at that, I'm talking about Nazarite communion table. Jesus said to them, he said, your father ate meal. A particular meal in the wilderness and they do, they do what? That means there are meal that kill people. There is something about this table. Two things about this table. Number one is the meal itself. Number two is the hand that serves it. Somebody can stay away from sickness through contacts. You don't even have faith. But there is a baptism. You don't even have faith. But you have a contact that can keep you from evil. Contact can keep people from evil. Let me say again. I say you don't even have faith. But you are you are numbered with people that must not die. Numbered with doesn't mean that you're qualified. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 2. The Bible says he is our peace because he, the meal, the meal broke the partition wall. The what? The meal broke when Jesus wanted to break partition wall between the Jews and the Gentiles. He became a meal. So meals break partition wall. There are things I vowed in my life not to do. And uh, I'll tell somebody the other day. I said, <laughs> uh, it will not be cheap for something to enter into my mouth. To lift something and put it inside my this is my mouth. It's not a joke. You might not need to know, but me will represent the gate of death and life. Yesterday when I got home, I, I, I felt hungry and I wanted to eat something. The Lord said, listen, you're not eating anything. You're going to drink water and lie down on your bed. Ephesians chapter 2. Please keep opening the scripture. There's something I want to show you. Nothing is as all the men, if you say praise God, I will tell you this. 
all the men and women that rose up greatly understand separation there is no greatness without understanding particularly understanding separation and if you want to understand you should understand early in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 Ephesians chapter 2 For number number 13, we looked at it and we we'll get it very clearly. 13. But now in Christ Jesus, he we, who yeah, sometimes, sometimes we are far off, we are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For, for he is our peace. Who had made both when and had broken, broken down, down the, the partition wall of, of, of between us. Having abolished in his flesh. Excuse me. The Bible, Jesus took the nature of a meal here. To break the partition wall. It was a meal that abolished flesh. Go ahead. A commandment contained in ordinance. For he make himself to wine. One new man. New man so make him peace. Number, number 16. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross. Having slain the enemy between their bodies. It was meal. It was meal. Now. Chapter 216, Genesis. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden, thou mayest eat. Number 17. But of a tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. That in the day you ate that meal. Now listen. One of the gates important gate of death on earth is meal now because meal has power to veil the eyes of people to what in 25 6 of Isaiah 25 verse 6 verse 6 he said, In this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, feast of wine on the leaves of fat things full of marrow, of wine on the leaves where refined. Number seven, and, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. Now, veil and covering cast over the people cannot be broken until there is proper feeding. This meal here in verse 6 is not general meal, it's not a bar, it's meal. I say it's, it's just meal, it's not, it's not general meal. It, it, it because it's, it is a meal that makes fat. It is not every meal that makes fat. The meal I'm talking about here is a spiritual meal. It's a meal that make fat there's somebody here huh? I said the meal in that particular chapter 6 48 of John gospel he said I am bread of life that if you eat me you shall not die. I think I should help us to look at meal that should not die before I go into the Nazarite. The same John chapter 6. Please, let me ask you to listen to what reigns. What reigns on earth is confusion where people people call the art of darkness God's art because they are blind. So people don't care about their future. They follow moving things. They follow things that are moving. Everybody's doing it. Let's do it. Now, when that ended them 
in an evil place. They start saying, God, where are you? I said, no, you didn't look for God in a good time. You should look for God when you are in that part. This I'm trying to tell you, nobody's talking about it. That is why death have reigned and everybody's saying they will die. As if though we are helpless, as if though those who died are not part of what killed them, we can afford what killed men. Excuse me, let's say it again. I say we can avoid, we can avoid things that kill men. Now, if we willingly avoid things that kill men, then we will not die. Excuse me, when I made the book on the power of choice, my life changed many years ago. So that I keep before you life and death choose. Now, there are indirect choices people make. And then there are direct choices. There are a, a lot of people make indirect choices. Whether you are whether you are conscious of the consequences of your choice or you are not, it doesn't change anything. A lot of people are not learned in understanding the consequences of their actions. They don't bother about it. Excuse me. A lot of people have taken some gift from Satan and said it was God that blessed them. Let me give you one testimony. When we came to Aja here five years ago for this land, there is something I want a locust to know. It's one of the things I want you to know here this night. And I wouldn't want you, I wouldn't want you to hear this and ignore it because it will help you to be a member of this church in 10 years to come. In five years to come. God had understanding of our predicament of or what is it, our limitation but he he is still God with us so he brought this altar at the center of this land miraculously because he will know that the finance to pay for this land was not with us and he wanted to give us the land so he come from heaven and make divine arrangement. And so the owners of this land waited for five years. Against their will. Excuse me, they didn't wait for us because they were kind. a divine finger with us now why would a believer trifle with that divine finger is it right for us to be celebrated when we are coming when we are coming now the one that they, we, the gate was open and I saw people park their car that place that bookshop used, bookshop used to be and children's church used to be I told them in the car I said nothing remains forever just now I said I said there is nothing that God can change I said there is nothing uh, it's not we are somebody one or two persons yeah, your, car, your car is there that place used to be children's hall but now it has become a car park Oh, and say we are looking for where to park our car. What about if we fill all these places with sand down to this place? Do we start do we need to look for car park? In this inside this hall? No. Everywhere down there. We're thinking of bringing caterpillar. How do we look for car park? There is enough space. We can we, we can we, we can we can zoom into this left to a snap and car. God will always be strong when he gets 
unique people. There are things you don't fear when God loves you. Let me say it again. Let me say, let me give you the second testimony. Somebody is, is saying, oh, we, we've acquired it. We. And yet he doesn't even know. Doesn't even know one single thing of how that we acquired it up. He didn't even make one single genuine sacrifice. One small effort. Even when buying it was making demand on people. Uh, God believed that people are righteous. Or people are unrighteous when they have peace in the time of trouble. We are having synod next week. And if everybody's running up and down, you went and folded your hand. What about if the synod end, ends the other week? When everybody had traveled? What will you do? I, I told somebody yesterday, I said, synod is about to come from Monday. Connect. If it's seed, you will sow. Go and bring everything you have and give to God. And then start fasting. Don't be casual. When that kind of program is about to come. Friday next week is not the time for you to open your shop. Because it's Sabbath of rest. Don't forget that from Monday, some people will come here even on Sunday. From Monday, some people will start leaving, some people will start leaving where they are to come here. And then the pastors will start coming like on Thursday. Or maybe Wednesday when they want to come. Because we're going to have a meeting on Thursday evening. And they're going to start coming. And then somebody who is in Lagos, who you now went to open your office or your shop on Friday morning. That is a, that is a great evil. Somebody says, Shema, why are you saying it? I say, what I'm saying it is that there's a difference between the profound and the holy. If you have, if, if you have a reason, if, if there's a reason God should bless you, then you will not miss blessing. So sometimes give God reason to bless you. Did I, did I say it very well? Let me say it again. I say sometimes give God reason to bless you. Do something in a unique way. Now, we talk about the land. Getting the money to pay was still another miracle. Not, you see, because one of the programs they're meeting, I'll be talking about boxing the air. Boxing the air. During this synod, I don't, I, I don't know where, but I, I pray that God give me a chance to talk about boxing the air. Mm, because the, the money was not paid from abundance. It was paid from, first of all, a certain human value that has ability to keep things. That understand priorities. It's not from abundance. It's from saving. It's from looking at a need and ignore it because it's a major priority. That is miracle. In the program too, I'll be sharing on power is a being and a becoming. Excuse me, prosperity it is not about getting things. It's about having a bridge to keep what you have first. There are people that what have come into their hand is enough to make them rich, but they squandered it. The moment that that money came into their hand, they didn't think about what to do with it. They didn't think about uh, um, about preparation to improve their life and destiny and their business. They started thinking about holiday. Where they will go and squander that money. Now, excuse me. Why that, that holiday that came into their mind and eventually squandered that money it emanated from their personal valuelessness. They didn't take care of themselves but they wanted things.
Now, the angel that brought the altar at the center provided money to pay. We built a church at the coast. It's the same angel. And now, now I want to listen. The method is the same. Let me say this in simple, in a way it will help somebody. Let me say it in a way. Your lifestyle and decision can make God to go extra mile for you. Let me say it again. Your lifestyle and decisions. Because the God of every man functions from the man. Can I say it again? I said the God of every function from the man. Now why I say this is because of the need to be separated. When the people we are dying, when the people we are we are dying in Numbers chapter 16 God Moses said to Aaron he said go and take a candle and burn it number 16 between heaven and the earth and the Bible said and the, the Bible says and the, the plague stayed numbers numbers Verse number 46. I, I, I'm talking about the word reconcile through me. That means you can attract a spirit. You can attract a spirit from food. Spiritual food, physical food. Some people, some family challenges and ancient spirit has been sustained in their life because they can't do without certain family meal. Even if they are in America, they will carry pandemonium or don't want to mention they will stay in the UK and be ordering it. They will stay in Canada and be, you know because of gullibility they introduce African market. When I was in South Africa so many years ago, about 10 years ago, that's the last time I traveled. That was last time, and that was my last last. I will never go to any embassy. My, my passport is destroyed. It's a useless passport. I have decided... I'm not saying you cannot travel, but it's not me that will enter into any plane to anywhere, to any country. I'm not saying you should not travel. You can travel to anywhere you want. I'll put you, I'll put you in prayer when you're traveling. <laughs> I didn't say you should sit travel. In Numbers chapter 16 and 46, and Moses said unto Aaron, say, take a sense and put fire therein from the altar and put on the sense and go quickly into the congregation and make an atonement for them. For there is rot gone out from the, from Lord. the Lord and the plague is begun. Is begun. Number, number 47. And Aaron took Moses commanded, and ran into the midst of the congregation and behold, the plague was begun among the people and he put on incense and made an atonement for the people. Number 48, the last day. And he stood between the dead and the living and the plague was stayed. He stood between the dead and the living. Now, the war between the dead and the living is always broken by me. Each time there is a communion table, the walls will be broken. The wars between the dead. If you look at the word in two of Ephesians where we read, the word reconcile means the partition wall is broken between the land and the living, the dead and the living, and between nations. Between and between what? And between nations. The wall is broken between the land, the living and the dead, and between and between nation and nations. Now, 
A communion table is an altar. I say, now, when the meal is coming to you this morning for a Passover, just know that we are bringing an altar to you. An altar of life. And then somebody is saying, Shepherd, why is it why is it Nazarite? It is Nazarite because it is the last. It is Nazarite because it is the only. It is Nazarite because it is consecrated. Excuse me. Can I say this to you to give it to you as a gift? Huh? Sometimes some people don't know that revelation is more powerful than, cons than consecration. Or transformation is more important than abstinence. Let me, let me say it this way. I say revelation is more important than consecration. And uh, huh? and transformation is more important than abstinence. In other words, there are things that God reveals to you that will actually be more important than the way you live. Because it is that thing God reveals to you that is actually your value. So, you cannot live right. You cannot live right until you have revelation on how to live. You can't live right until on, on how to live. Why I live the way I do is because I have, don't forget, I have revelation on how I should live. All the decisions I take is the revelation that I have. It, it is not, the origin is not abstinence. Oh, somebody help me. I, was I able to say it? Huh? I said, it is not it is not abstinence I don't want to do this I don't want no excuse me that is why the lifestyle is attached to the purpose it must accomplish not just I am trying to be a union no the union life is packaged to achieve a particular purpose So it is a lifestyle that is kept because of the purpose it's meant to achieve. Not just because of abstinence. If it's abstinence, I would have stopped since. If the lifestyle is not attached to the purpose it must, ask, that it must achieve, I would have diverted since now. Oh, did you hear what I said? Huh? In other words, there cannot be actual holiness through holiness without purpose. Trying to live holy without purpose is religious. And it doesn't last. Consecration of revelation should be attached to purpose. Then it, so that when you are tired and feel weak, you continue because of what your life, because of gain of that life. May God bless me for sharing that secret with you. That is why if there is consecration and that consecration is not attached to a purpose it must achieve. Don't trust it. To the, don't, 
If the discipline is not attached to vision, don't trust it. Because it is a purpose that protects it. Am I saying something? If you look at the book of Judges, chapter 13, there is something I want to show you. If you look at the life of, Ma Ma of Manos' wife, Samson's mother, you will see don't take alcohol. It is it's not an abstinence. It's a revelation for the woman. Excuse me. It is not don't take alcohol that brought Samson. No. It was a spirit of revelation in the woman. Because there are other things the woman know. The woman knows sacrifice. So she doesn't know, don't take alcohol. It's not only that she knows. She's spiritual. It, it, she has a compound revelation. About that Nazarite. Now, there are some circles they subject or they plunge people into consecration that is not attached to purpose. So they become hypocrites. A young boy that want to, that want to study aeronautic engineering or want to be a pilot or want to study medicine he, he, and he wants to be a medical doctor or an engineer. Excuse me. The boy do things for himself for the sake of what he wants to be. He doesn't want you to control him. He takes responsibility. Huh? Even when nobody is there. Excuse me. In 2000, in 1996, between February and first week of April, when I wrote jam to enter into Unijos, I didn't cross family compound. I didn't go out of the family, family compound for two months. Out of, I didn't cross our family compound for two months. I was in a particular spot for two months. I would stay on my table, read on that table, lie down on by the mat there. My mother would bring me food there. Bring food, food there. Now, excuse me. That consecration was not imposed by me by anybody. I just wanted to study. I just wanted to go to university. And I was in the village. So the, the assistance I have, it was not much. Because that is a village. So I, I have to read by myself. The discipline emanated from desire. So if discipline doesn't manage from clear vision, don't trust it. If in Judges chapter 13, Ndinile na Nime Jesus Adia Amami Pe Adia Amami Pe Adia Adia Amami Pe Adia Adia One and two, 
Judges and the children of Israel did evil against again in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord delivered them unto the, the land of the of the Philistines, Philistines for forty years. years. And there was a certain man of Zora. Of the family of the Nights, whose name was Manuel, and his wife was Barin and Beno. Number three, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman. And said unto her, Behold, now thou art barren, and there, there is not, not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Now therefore beware, I pray thee, and drink not wine or strong drink, and eat not any unclean thing. For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head, for, for the child shall be a Nazarite unto God from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. Now, the, 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 you, you shall, you shall, con you shall conceive. Now, the conception there is run about to this in revelation and vision in the woman. This didn't happen in the spirit. Excuse me. It, it was a woman that told the writer. So, it is not every woman that can see an angel. It is not every woman that is qualified for angelic visitation. So it is not abstinence first. It, it is a it is it, it is a revelation a particular woman has something a woman know that made her to live the way she lived. Something she can see. A revelation that made her a Nazarite. Because it will take a Nazarite to give birth to a Nazarite. He said, you woman, razor shall not come upon the head of your seed. Because your seed, Samson, shall be a Nazarite. There is something that happened. Each time that angel wants to visit, the angel will visit the woman. Why did the angel not visit Mano? Excuse me. I would like you to listen. In covenant night, even if you're here and you are married, don't forget that the favor level of two of you and your husband cannot be the same. No. There is no angel that visits husband and wife. You can be the reason why an angel is coming to your husband. You also can be a reason why an angel is coming to your wife. No angel visits two people. This angel was going to the wife of the man, not the man. And then, you know the story? They say, well, we make sacrifice. Why did they know sacrifice? It's because there was a revelation. It wasn't an abstinence. It, it, don't do it. Stay. Go and do three days fasting. Throughout this period of, of, of synod, take only orange and the, the, and the week. Don't hang, hang around the camp the church don't look for comfort close your account and and sow it into god before that doing there must be a revelation there must be something you saw before the instruction something you saw that attracted the instruction if i'm not seeing something i cannot be a eunuch now listen i am not eunuch by consecration or because i love the lord that is again. Hmm. Excuse me. It is not loving the Lord that is making me a union. It's something I want to take through it. Somebody. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, did you get it? Huh? Something I am enjoying. I don't want to stop enjoying. So, it's not about God only, it's about gain. Uh, there are privileges. It, 
it is that is why I am bold. I say I won't take drug because I know they will care about me. I know that I, they will give me attention when I need it because of the revelation, the price. So I, I don't fear because I know I enjoy maximum security. The maximum security is for a reason. It's not religious. So in the book of Judges, that is where I'm going to then stop. I'm trying to, I'm narrowing down. I'm narrowing down gradually. Every scripture I have quoted from Genesis to Revelation, to, to Numbers, to Judges, I, I'm, I didn't forget any, you see. Because I came here with a note and my brain is already functioning very fast. So I am going to join them together in the communion table. Larasito rapratoshito no ragrado batara. The dead want to eat. The dead. They want to eat. And I came to make a meal of the Nazarite. Did you, did you see the Nazarite? Did you see Nazarite meal? Excuse me. Did you see razor should not come upon him? Do you know the beginning of the problem of Samson? Nazarites don't eat things that die on their own. And then Samson went to lick honey. From a, from a dead carcass. Samson went and take, took honey. He was carrying locks. And the locks forbid him from making contact. Huh? Ah, somebody said, God said you'll be rich. Excuse me. If you are going to be rich, don't look for money. Find out the conditions. You see, because God does give it, and you take through your conditions. So any life that must enjoy unique blessing must be lived uniquely. So you 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 are, you introduce your value to God through what you are presenting to Him. It is what you present that you depend on to take what God is giving. So it's not right for somebody to say, God said, I will take over the world. If you God wants to give you over the world, you will take from what you have. So we will know how your five years will look like when we see how you're getting ready. In the book of Judges, chapter 6, I mean numbers. Numbers from verse 1. Numbers 6, 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, Speak unto the children of Israel, And say unto them, Yes, When either man or woman shall, shall separate, conceive, separate themselves, well, to, Shall separate themselves, To vow a vow of a Nazarite, To separate themselves unto the Lord, To separate themselves unto the Lord, He shall not, He, he shall separate himself, From, from wine, wine strong drink and shall drink no finger of wine yes or finger of strong drink neither shall he drink any liquor of grapes yes not eat moist grapes yes or dried but all the days of his separation shall he eat nothing that is made of vine tree from and the, the canal kernel of the horse no, go ahead all the days of the vow of his separation there shall no razor come upon his head until the days he be fulfilled Yes. In which he, he separated himself unto the Lord, he shall be holy. And, and shall, shall be the, the locks of his head grow, head, head grow. Number six, all the days he separated himself unto the Lord, he shall come at no dead body. Now, 
if you look at please I, I don't i don't preach something that that somebody should not take decision on if you look at these conditions ah huh, you will discover that every greatness has a separation let me say it again i say every greatness has because separation is both attracted and sustained through revelation of character so there are people that when you see the way they live and uh, their consecration you will know that it is a sign that the earth want to wear a new face if you are a woman there is a kind of child you will be born and so the way that girl or that boy is living you will know that the family is about to take a new a new face each time god want to give back want to do something new on earth he will bring people that understand nazarite consecration what huh? the nazarite consecration is first of all a spirit of revelation before abstinence but abstinence declares it because people don't see your spirit it is the way you live it is through the way you live that you introduce who you are you can be seeing something and nobody cares about what you're seeing but when people see the way you live they will know there is something you are seeing don't excuse me don't worry us about what you're seeing leave it out if you leave it out, we will see it in your character. Don't worry us about how you will take over the world. Leave it out, we will see it. What do I mean? Samson had a vow of the Nazarite and he lost his locks. And he was incarcerated, blind. But because the Nazarite is a spirit of revelation in him, the hair started growing out. That means that the lock was not outside. The lock was a revelation. If, if the revelation is there, the lock will always come out. Because the lock will always come out from revelation. The lock is a pointer to the spirit in a man. Did you am I saying something? Huh? I said the the lock was please I'm coming to the last part pay attention the revelation is more important than the consecration when Jesus came to the earth he didn't he didn't emphasize behave it he emphasized seed <laughs> let me say again I said when Jesus came to the earth he didn't emphasize no the person that was emphasizing behavior was John. And behavior didn't take him far. Maybe someone didn't hear what I said. I said behavior. No, it didn't take him far. When Jesus came to the earth, he didn't emphasize behavior. He emphasized it. But because John couldn't see, he was emphasizing behavior. And then he died like those who behaved without seeing it. The root of this altar is the is see it, not behave it. Let me say again. I said the root of this altar is see it, not now because we have to see it before we can behave it. Am I really saying something? So Samson was a Nazarite. 
And the Bible said here in chapter 6 that if you have a consecration of Nazareth, all the Nazarites that didn't have it in Revelation find it difficult to fulfill it in consecration. It's just like somebody, just like somebody is a local army pastor. And you're expecting him to love local army like shepherd. Huh? Excuse me, this guy, this guy can't see anything. <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's why in the days of Jesus he insists of the book of the book of uh, John Gospel. Huh? <laughs> the Bible said when they finished eating, he shared the bas the many bread to them, the baskets, to the to twelve disciples. Is it to twelve baskets? Say how is a basket now? And they were happy. Now excuse me. <laughs> sometimes people should be treated that way. Because you see, you don't really blame people sometimes if they can't see. If they can't see anything clearly, they live by what they see, what they desire. They live by, by their desires. That is why you don't commit a mantle to, to consecration. You commit mantle to revelation. You don't say, ah, that guy, that, that boy is dedicated in the church. Let's give him position. No. If he's dedicated, then he has to see. You have to be sure what he said is making him dedicated. Because you see, he can be dedicated in that church because of the girl he wants to marry. And if you don't know that it is a girl that he wants to marry that is dedicated, you might be saying he dedicated unto the Lord. <laughs> and then you hand over somebody who is looking for a wife. And you will know when he gets married, when he marries Agil and uh, uh, to go to church will be a problem. Because dedication has connected him to what he wants. So don't worry about the dedication. Find out what he's seen. What is what is causing him to be dedicated? <laughs> It might not be the Lord. <laughs> I, I say it might not be the way you're making it look like the Lord. It might not be the Lord. <laughs> when Jesus came to the earth, Christ was in him a reconciler. Was in him a reconciler. That reconciler was living word. The reconciler living word breached breached the partition wall or break the partition wall between the heaven and the earth in the world. And that is, where, that is where I'm stopping. On the communion table. I saw a bridging of partitions by a Nazarite table. I saw. I saw. That is why you don't give people communion until the physical meal until you give them revelational meal. Am, am I saying something? Huh? First Corinthians chapter 10, 1 to 4. You don't give people communion meal until you give them revelational meal. There was a relationship between God and Adam that brought the instruction. You don't give instruction to a stranger. Because instructing somebody is blessing somebody. 
Write on your paper. When a father gives instruction to his children, the father has blessed his children through instruction. So God believes he has blessed us when he instructs us. You see, because protection, prosperity, and immortality is in instruction. This is a Passover service. Will, will there not be a meal? And what kind of meal should we eat? And what table should introduce us to a Passover land? Don't forget. Don't forget. There are Passover lands from communal meals. When Israel was about to leave the land of Egypt, there was it, it was a Passover. And they leave they left Egypt into the wilderness. There was a meal. When Jesus was about to die in 22 of the book of Luke, there was a meal to leave the earth and connect to the spiritual kingdom of God. That's why he said, You will not eat it again. You will not. I think I should bring it to scripture. You will not eat it again until you eat it into the kingdom. You eat it in the kingdom that that meal introduces you into. I think I should show, I'm coming to what I'm preaching. I will connect all of them together. I'm trying to bring them at different levels because I'm talking about Nazareth. Excuse me. It hurts God when, you, when we tell people to do something without telling them the reason why they should do it. Luke 22. What I'm looking for, can I, is it Luke 22? I will get it. Uh, in Corinthians or Matthew? I don't think it's it. Okay. Luke 22. Can you read two verses? Let me keep. 19. Yes. And he took the bread. Go ahead. And he took the bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them saying, This is my body which is given unto you. This do in remembrance of me. Number 20. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shared for you. Go ahead. Now, Matthew chapter 26. I really want to get where the Bible says, You will not do it until you do it in the kingdom. That is my interest. In that communion. Yes. 26, 26. Matthew 26, 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it. And, and gave, gave it to the disciples and said, take it, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. For this is my body. Of the my New blood Testament, of the New Testament which is shed for many for the remission of sin. Now, we, there is something that Jesus said there that is important. He said the communion table is going to introduce you to a, cons to a into a testament. I'm about to bring table now. He said the meal will introduce you. That means the communion table of the Nazarite is a gate. He said that meal will do what? Each time you eat a unique meal from hand, there is no sanctuary of power where people are not introduced to another season through meal. Each time you give people, bring people to a table, you open a door for them immediately. 
let me say again i said each time you 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 bring people to a table you you open door now look at the last verse there's something very beautiful that somebody we like to look at awesome something there in in the next verse there in number 29 something awesome 29 and i say unto you i will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the wine of the vine until that day when i drink it with you in my father's kingdom that means the, the meal the table was meant to introduce the disciples to have into heaven it, the meal was meant to bring them into heaven the meal was meant to bring them and it is the meal of that kingdom the meal will not only bring them the meal will sustain them so each time they come to that table they come to that table the door into that kingdom opens from the table because the table is an altar and the gate now the nazarite communion table is the last meal is a what is the last meal that god has that should introduce us to the millennial kingdom by the lion of judah now like when this meeting started the lord started getting angry he said the people are not getting ready for their meal and the people that should make the meal are distracting the people now the angel has the meal but the people are not eating in first corinthians chapter 10 1 to 4 the bible said they were all baptized i am excuse me i am coming to the last part of this message they were they were all baptized and as many as we are in that baptism we are they were of that meal and they were of the drink because they were going to the land that flow with milk and honey understanding this is more important than the meal now hear me israel they were not egyptians sometimes we unite with people that we are not even when they came to egypt the the egyptians say, gave them a place in goshen just to make them to understand that they are not the same and then while they were in goshen god keep on saying people like you should not stay in a land that men till their ground Four hundred and thirty years god was uncomfortable because that land we are in their land and then when they came out because they must come out excuse me there is nothing that makes me happy like living for my destiny nothing makes me happy don't forget that i didn't know destiny early but the the the, the capital reason i have i have peace in my life is because of destiny you might not know destiny now but have strength to stay in your path your path will produce destiny let me say again i say you might not have you must you might not know destiny very clearly after at a particular time in my life i didn't know destiny but the bible says concerning israel that in that journey they ate the bible says, and that meal is christ that meal the, the spiritual drink is still christ you can know your future from your baptism please be patient i will not preach when it's three promise so just give me this just 14 minutes first corinthians chapter 10 I'm calling all the great men of Lucas army. 
and all the great men of the world that if you are seen anything, then you have to live out what you're seeing. Let me say it again. I say, if you are seen anything, if you believe there is a future that you have, you must live for that future. Not only for it, you must make people to know that there must be a baptism that will bring you into what you are expecting. A baptism from where you are to where you must be. It's a baptism. Now, this baptism might not be visible. You're, you're, you're talking about it. But if you leave, out, leave it out, both God and men will see it. Uh, we are all locals. We are locals. We are here. And the locals and people are watching on screen. We know ourselves. We know those that love locals and and we know some of our some of us that have two faces. And then we are smiling with ourselves. Uh, smiling with ourselves does not mean that we don't know where we belong. You don't know where where it is that when a man or a woman come into a meeting that is important, people will be afraid. Everybody will be scratching on that person that says, Let's, let's, let's. <laughs> because I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Chapter 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. Moreover, I will know that you should be ignorant that how our fathers were on the cloud and all passed through the sea were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud in the sea. And did all eat the same spiritual meal? Three. There was a cloud. There was a Moses. And there was a meal. Moses was a human being. Cloud was a situation. Meal is edible. Then number, number four, there was a drink. And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spiritual rock. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people don't understand that baptism defines your future. Allow me to tell you. The elders in chapter 5 of Revelation 7 and 8 look at Jesus and said, there were men in heaven. They say, deserving you are to take us. Because of the meal you are bringing. Jesus came as word of God. He came as word. In the beginning was the word. And that word was with God. And that word was God. For the same was with God in the beginning. By that word was all things made that was made. And there was nothing that was made that was made without the word. And the word was life and light. For then the word became a human being. And dwell among us. The Bible said this is the word. Word. This is the light, the lighting everything. So that communion table of the Nazarite is still a light. Now, this is a communion table of the Lamb. The Nazarite communion table is a communion table of the Lion of Judah, which is the last communion table. And the guardian angel of that communion table is found in Revelation chapter 10 with a book. And the Bible called that book their meal. The angel said, if you want to have dominion in heaven, dominion on earth, dominion in the sea, you must eat a particular meal. Some people fail in their meal, but they want to still have dominion. Some people fail in the baptism, but they want to have dominion. Excuse me. You are here, you're a brother, and you say you're going to be a billionaire, and you're doing some kind of business. Is it every kind of business that can make a man a billionaire in Nigeria? That, that's my question. I said, is it every kind of business that should make a man a billionaire? If you want to be a billionaire, find out billionaire businesses that make billionaires and switch on immediately. 
are the businesses that can make billionaires in Nigeria. Excuse me. Dangote is from is from Kano. Is from Kano. And Dangote left Kano and came to Niger came to Lagos and built sugar factory and the Omar on cement factory by the sea. Huh? Built. Excuse me. If Dangote has has stayed in Kano, he will not be the richest African man. You see, because abundance is where there is sea. Well, that's a secret. So, the first movement to make Dangote the richest African man is a revelational movement, not money. The angel that made him the richest African made him Gave him eyes to see. If I stop, am I not right? I said that angel gave him number one, eyes to see, move from Kano, come to Lagos. Give him eyes. He was talking the other day about when he knew when to stop trading and enter into manufacturing. Oh, oh, okay, because he didn't call it he didn't call it the Holy Ghost. Because he said he know when. You, you didn't feel spiritual. Because thank God he didn't say Holy Ghost told him. <laughs> if it's not Holy Ghost, how did he become rich? You shared somebody who is who is number one person in managing your father's property. He's not a family member. Let me <laughs> let me say again. I said, if we are Africans, we say our brother, who is number one in managing the earth our father created, is not, is not your brother. If it's not your brother, is he not in charge of your father's property? Psalm 28, 24 verse 1 said the, the, the earth is the loss and the fullness. And then the man is the richest African man. And then you say he's a sinner. That is somebody who is not a family member. But he's in charge of your family father's property. Because he didn't put the Holy Ghost there. He, 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 he just said he know when to stop trading and do enter into manufacturing because he didn't say i was sleeping and i heard a voice from the law <laughs> some of the people most of the people that that say the, the law are they not broke some of the things that they said the law said has it not brought pain into their lives? I said, some of the things they said. And you said, I was sleeping on the law. <laughs> In First Thessalonians chapter 4. The Bible said the Lord changed into a word and blew a trumpet. And that word became a meal and fed the dead. I am reading only two scriptures and then I know I'm done. I said a trumpet blew and God became voice and the voice became meal. And the, and the dead 
ate that meal and came back to life. In the last days, those shall hear the voice of a meal giver. Those that hear shall come back to life. God is changing as the lion of the tribe of Judah. And then the lion of the tribe of Judah is appearing this morning for, in a Passover service in a Nazarite communion table. As the word of vengeance in 1913 of, the, of Revelation. And then the guardian angel of the last man's destiny took a book in his hand. And it's appearing here on the table just to do something to say all oh, that come to this table should be connected through entrance into the, the last millennial kingdom. All that passed through the Nazarite table of the Lion of Judah, all that came to that meal where the angel has a book in his hand, all that know about that book. In John 10:8, he said, Take this book from my hand when you come to the Nazarite communion table. When you eat it through the door of that table, you shall be brought into the millennial kingdom. Come to that table where the angel is standing with a book that interprets anger. He says, stay here by the Nazareth table. Stay here by the Nazareth consecration where a lamb is changing into a lion. Where a lamb is producing seven horns. We are the communion table of the Son of God. is changing to the communion table of the Lion of Judah. Come here with a, your Nazarite locks, everyone. Because Jesus has changed into the living world. The living world is the Lion of Judah. The guardian angel said, take the book now. Eat it now. And say to Locust Army the second time, the dead shall come back to life. Because the partition wall is broken. Anyone that ate that meal, whether the living or the dead, shall come back to life. Anyone that ate that meal, whether the living or dead, shall have access to the abundance of the sea. Anyone that ate that meal, whether those who are in the grave who eat that meal, those who are about to die, that eat the meal of the Nazareth communion, everyone that ate that meal shall be quickened. There is a table. There is a table of anger. There is a table that lead into the last millennium. There is a table that when men eat from that table, there, there will be immortality. There is a table that we end the assignment of Satan. A table. A Nazarite table. A table that we make just men to be perfect. A table that we call the resurrection of the dead. There is a table. A table that we make poor people rich. There is a table that will tear down the bands of delay. A table that will give laboring sense, reward of labor. There is a table. A table where the lion of Judah will appear. is a Nazarene communion table. A connecting table. A table of miracle. A healing table. That where the leaves of God in 22, 1 and 2 of Revelation is there for the healing of the nations. That table is a place of baptism. There is a table. A table that pl provide a new platform so that when we cross into that table and go into the millennial kingdom those that are dead will come back to life can somebody say oh lord give me the meal of that table that is a table a, a passover listen lift your hands i bring you into passover can you say lord i come into passover can i hear you say that prayer just a shot at Talaya Rakakapaya. I make a demand on the guardian angel that told me this revelation. I make a demand on the guardian angel that show me this revelation to do miracles in this meeting. Say, Lord, I come to that meal. I come to that table. I come to a table. I come to the table of the Nazarites. La Tose Katalama. All that come to this table will never die. All that come to this table will never be ashamed. All that come to this table will never be poor. Somebody say, oh God, there is a table. I can hear you say there is a table. I come, I come to the table of the Nazarites. Where the lion of Judah has a book in his hand. To give me the last meal. I can hear your prayer. There is a meal to eat. Can you, can you begin to pray and say, Lord, there is a meal to eat. Shantolo rakala Alright, 
prayer point number two. Father, connect me. Connect me to a place of surplus from the gate of the table. Can I hear your prayer? Connect me. Connect me. Connect me to the place of surplus from the table. Let me be connected. I can hear you. Let me be connected to the place of surplus. Lord, from this table of immortality. Somebody, can you let to shakatala? It's not taking long. It's not taking long. There is no death around that table. There is no shame around that table. My father, connect me to Brahara, Meto Praheda, Sipra, Yakapatale, Ladano, and Peto Sisapa, Lepra Moshka, Lebanon. Let me tell you an awesome thing. Let me tell you an awesome thing. I gave you testimony previously about how this author came at the center. We are we all are witnesses. Because we had limitation. So the divine came to help. If you hear me it said there will be a church in the sea, it's only in the hand of the divine. God has no resources. I trust only the divine. I want you this morning to go back to trust God. You're going to pray one more prayer. You will say, Lord, you angel, you will say, you angel that brought this altar, the center of this land. I cry unto you. As I come to the Nazarite table this night, do for me what I will not be able to do for myself. That's your last prayer. Can you pray that prayer? There's an angel. Do for me what I can be. Onyeka, 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 Somebody, can you say, Lord, do it for me? Go ahead with me where my spirit stop. Go ahead for me. Go ahead for me. Go ahead for me. Go ahead for me where my strength stop. Go ahead for me. Lion of the tribe of Judah. Go ahead for me. Go ahead for locus on it. Santa Lorodo Bobo Santa Lada. Listoria Kala Mascana. Go ahead for me. Go ahead for me. As I come to the communion temple of the Nazarite, go ahead for me. Go ahead for me. We are my strength stop. Go ahead for me. Call my son to the Go ahead for me. Jehovah, go ahead for me. Go ahead for Chris Christian. Go ahead for Locus Abba. Go ahead for me. Go ahead for me. We are my strength stop. Go ahead for me. 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 In the name of Jesus. That prayer is a major prayer from this time. Don't change that prayer point. That the Lord should go ahead for you. I have given you a practical example. If I say a church will come upon the sea, there is no human value around me. I don't have it with me. But I will never doubt God. Not even in my thought. One second is not possible. 
If I try to doubt God, then I'm finished. God will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Did you lift up your hand and shout a big amen? amen. He will fight the enemies you can't fight on your own. Amen. He will give you blessings you didn't work for. Amen. Can you shout a big amen and hear yourself? Amen. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Every difficulty on my way. Every difficulty on my way. A puzzle. Puzzle. Difficult for me to resolve. Difficult for me to resolve. Tonight I declare divine intervention. Tonight I declare divine Can I hear your prayer? Can I, I hear your prayer? Divine intervention. I get rato sakata. Come in the table of the Nazarite. Tonight I declare divine intervention. Every puzzle difficult for me to resolve tonight by the coming of devil. I declare divine intervention. Rapa sakato paya. A petoko podre kapala. A pesakato pra. A ye kanato sakata. A peseto rapate. A preko kapa. Otaya la sakato rapa. A sakata sakata ya. God of Libre sakato la rapa. A preko kapa tora dagaya. Libre sopana tavaisona. On every side. Somebody can hear your prayer. For Lord Santana Rakapataya. Somebody. 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 Something I can do on my own. Something that this Christian cannot do on his own. A blessing I can work for. Is coming to me. Is coming for me as divine intervention. Listen. Listen. For the thing, as when they saw the boldness of illiterates. They just noticed that they have met with living word. When they saw the boldness, fishermen became apostles. Ordinary people. Name of a man like Peter that didn't go to school. To appear in the appear in the holy book. I will never forget. There's always a time in the life of a man when the man should need to take help from God. Like a David should come from the bush and become a king. A David. A widow like Ruth. Should come in the genealogy of Jesus. A, har a harlot like Rehab. When God chooses to finish with the past. When God chooses to finish. You, you don't remain the same when you come to communion table of the Nazarite. Father, I pass over to honor. I pass over to glory. In the month of October. I pass over to praise. Can I hear your prayer? I am going on with Jesus. I pass over. I pass over. I pass over. I am going over Jesus. Lord, I pass over. Lord, I pass over. Lekato Shakapara. Lehiska Osha Pato. Lord, I pass over to honor. I pass over to honor. The ekrato shall peleka. Zevete ina toto baka kayata. Lord, I pass over. Lord, I pass over to honor. I pass over to honor. Lord, I pass over to honor. 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 Lord, I pass over to honor. Zeleka to sekete baya. I pass over to honor. Zebrika to shoshoto. I pass over to honor. Lord, I pass over. Lord, I pass over. Lord, I pass over to honor. I pass over. I pass over. Father, it's not my effort that counts. It's your mercy. I appreciate you. All I try to do every day is to see how I can get you to smile. Thank you. 
I bring to your people meal. The meal I talk about for baptism. I'm not the one that matters. Just your handmaid. This is that meal I told them of the Nazarite. Where both the son and his father meet. In chapter 5 of Revelation, there was a slain lamb that became root of David in that communion table. There is a slain lamb that became lion of Judah in that communion table. So I cried to him that is broken with seven horns. As your people eat, let them pass over. You see, they, they, to introduce them into a realm of surplus, a woman should have favor. To introduce a man into the realm of immortality, where there is no pain. To bring us into the place of everlasting power where we can exercise your dominion. Nobody will remain the same after eating. Say with me, Lord Jesus. I'm about to eat you a meal. Jesus. I'm about to eat you a meal. Let me pass over to higher honor, greater glory, to riches and blessings. Wisdom and power shall be my portion. There is no iniquity in me. My sins are pardoned because I am totally redeemed. Lord, because we are totally redeemed, we are alive forever. In the name of God the Father. The name of God the Son. The name of God the Holy Spirit. I thought somebody would shout a big amen. Father, with this meal, I declare the curtain broken. The partition wall fall. We are united with ourselves. And then with all the blessings of October, beginning from today is ours. Everyone that believes in this meal shall have this experience. In the name of God the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yes, you 
Thank you for another month. Kalamos Santolo Regra Protoskidi Litron Moscalos Zayu Coprenos. Thank you for another month. We want to thank you for another month. We want to bless you for the privilege of being alive. Somebody go ahead and thank him for the privilege of being alive in another month. We thank you, King of Glory. Mahoseteri Maspro Klato Meskalodoski. Jesus, we remember you. We also thank you. Jesus, we worship you. We thank you because you died and rose. You died and rose, Jesus. You rose. You died and rose. We worship you. We remember you. We remember the bruises. We remember the pain. We mourn you, Jesus. Klana masusoto. Mandu proskle do barateshkala. Mama Mahose Zeketele We remember Apostle Paul. This morning I remember Reverend Chukuma. Thank you, Lord, because we repose the soul of the dead. We repose them. We put oil upon graves. Lord, we put oil on graves. Lord, we put oil on graves of beloved ones. We light candle in that grave. We ask them to see with this light. 
Let them see with this light. Let them come alive by this light. Shatura Sakato Luskeni Batala. Vidu Mesketo Lobrando Sakata. Let them live by this light. Jesus. 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 Ah. This is the house of Lucas Army mourning you. House of Lucas Army. The house of Christ Christian. The house of immortal people. The house of the Lion of Judah mourn Jesus. Jesus, we mourn you in this house. The house of the King of Glory. The Lamb that was slain. We remember what happened 2,000 years ago. We thank you for forgiving those that offend you. But let the days of vengeance come. Somebody, can you remember your beloved one? Mahostaru Great Mosteklidos. Sandu Makali Staru Caprana. Can you remember my biological father, my sisters, my uncles that are in glory? I go to their grave, I lit up that grave. I pray for them. I bring peace to their, to their broken sanctuaries. I bring peace. I bring peace. I bring peace. I light up their graves. I say they are not dead. Come back to life, you broken men. I stay here to remember you. You didn't die because you're with us. Netu skala protoske du paratoskene. Zayuski du mari tu skela dranus. The day of your resurrection is today. We declare it. La tu sumombre ni to kalino oskar. Vadish riano madaskala. Potolori grace sotolo. Let your soul rest in peace, you dead men. Great toll over you that we are wounded in the waters. I bring peace to your soul. I remember Apostle Paul. I remember Peter. I remember Joshua. I remember, I remember all the saints. All the saints that are in glory. I lift up this candle for them. I remember Reverend Chukuma. Reverend Chukuma will never die. Zoli preno suklado rata potokoski. Zando prana katuski. Sando balishkara. Shakarana andasakaraya. Sorana kapada. Somebody, I know what has happened since I started doing this. Can you call the name of somebody you love and begin to remember him? All my friends that I lost. Lord, remember them. I connect to them through this candle anywhere. This candle in my hand is also their candle. It's a sign that they have not died. Any dead man can see me. Any dead man that can see me. Let that dead man have peace. Kala Let that dead woman have peace. If they can see this candle from any realm. Any realm. I pray for peace in their hearts. Whether they are Jews, the Arabians, they are Africans, Chinese, Americans, Indian, French, anywhere they come from, Matusk Africans, Nigerians, if they can see this candle. Tanamama Suskala to Poto Shakata. Somebody can you? The sacred moment. Sonoma stupi kledus. Zoma tu pekeli storo bakanasis. Nedu marikara dolo besantana. We unite with them in one table. We unite with them in one table. 
to go in one table. In one table. Supana to Spana, Speto Luri Brando Oskeli. We unite with them in one table. Lekunumi Suturi Greno. Somebody, can you make intercession? This is the, the, the one of the time we make, we pray for the dead. Lando Sokolo Brana and Sadini Gredosh. Shenibro Dukana. Narakana Bato Sodoli Gredo. I pray for you. Every power of attack you are having in that grave. I come against those attacking the dead. I judge them. I judge them. I judge them. If there be any dead man that is being incapacitated, manipulated from the grave, I cause that manipulation to stop. In the name of Jesus. Because the dead cannot pray. I take their prayer request from their mouth. I ask God to bless them that want their children to be blessed. If what is in your mind is that your children should be blessed, I say let your children to be blessed. If what is in the mind of that dead man is for a house to appear in his compound, let his children be rich enough to bring a house into that compound. In the name of Jesus. If what is in the mind of that dead man is that those that kill him should be avenged. I ask the Lord to avenge those that kill them. Avenge those that kill them. Avenge those that kill them. Avenge them that are on earth. In the name of Jesus. If it's that a man is saying the opportunities he missed while he was on earth, his children will not miss it. Let that prayer be granted. In the mighty name of Jesus. If the desire of a dead man is that his children should be protected from enemies, then I declare that the children of that man should be protected. If the desire of that dead man is that his children shall enjoy promotion and prosperity, let the children of that woman enjoy prosperity. If it's that they want to be prayed for, I bring light into their grave. That they might continue their journey into endless eternity. In joy. In peace. Can you go ahead and pray for somebody? There shall be no more death. But the dead shall come back to life. The dead will come back to life. Somebody lift up your candle and begin to close graves in your family. Begin to cause those, begin to say, you dead men, I call you back to life. And I make decree that nobody again should die. Can you go ahead? Don't forget you are a human being and God can answer you. Some more tolo, ba 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 ba, shantala da da ba ba, shara da da ba 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 ba, shantala da 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 ba ba ba, shara da da ba 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 ba. Jesus, Son of God, Son of Mary, soprano seketeleba. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. Jesus, who is Christ, Son of God that was crucified. We honor you. Help us. Fight for us. Jesus, fight for us. Somebody go ahead and ask him to fight for you. The cloud of witnesses, the elders in heaven, Maturu Skeli Brendo Skana, Jedu Maratu Skala, Jedu Maradis Kopranuska. Zendu Marakatolo Priskedina. Can you bring that candle to the grave? To the grave of a beloved one.
Jesus. Mama, Mama, Santa Lord of Us. Somebody, can you take one more minute? Naro sete kele de 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 gos. Zada da 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 ba 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 ba. Sanda da da ba ba ba. Sototori ara da da ba 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 ba. Santa la. Sokototori ara da ba 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 ba. Don't forget that the candle is lit up and all rooms are open. Can you begin to talk in tongues? The light is up and all rooms are open. Zili brando do kopata tara. Sakala da 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 ba ya baba. Finally, can you say, Lord, with this candle, I declare there shall be no more death. There shall be no more death. That candle is a candle of living. It's a light of the living. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more sorrow. There shall be no more pain. All the former things are passed away. Karush sopana yada kudonaska. Zeli prono makabado satalaba. Ligri no sakana. Somebody brandi sharakatosa. Zede de de yara to kana baba basanta laba. Close to Mikini Mopato Lokaradaskara. Father, thank you because we remember Jesus. We remember Jesus. We mourn him. We remember our beloved ones. We pray for them. Peace to them. We prophesy the coming back of the dead by a trumpet blast. The quickening of the dead. We prophesy the justification of elders in heaven. We thank you for perfection of saints. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Can we say a big amen? Thank you. Can you take up your offering? Can you thank God for Passover seed, your offering? This is your first offering in Tova. Say with me, Lord Jesus, with this offering, I connect to every miracle of this month thank you for blessing me thank you because i am blessed in jesus mary name can you say amen and hear yourself excellent jehovah marvelous jehovah there is no greater than jehovah lord divine excellent jehovah marvelous jehovah there is no greater than Jehovah, Lord Divine. Who is greater than Jehovah, Lord Divine? Who is greater than Jehovah, Lord Divine? There is no greater than Jehovah, Lord Divine. Who is greater than Jehovah, Lord Divine? There is no greater than Jehovah, Lord Divine. We call him Excellent Jehovah. Come on, somebody give me praise. Hey, hey, hey. Olori, Olori, Olori. We come to say you are worthy of our praises. Hey, every man be kept. Who take it and then I believe it. We worship you. Hey. Who is greater than the Lord of the Lord divided? There is no one greater than the Lord of the Lord divided. Excellent Jehovah, marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than the Lord of the Lord divided. Come and give him praise. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah. Immortal God, 
Immortal God, you are the invisible God. Immortal God, I great you are. Immortal God, Immortal God, I you are the invisible God. Immortal God, I you are. Immortal God, invisible God.
One more dance, you will dance before we share grace. Just to introduce month of October. If I don't know anything, I know that God is kind. <laughs> I just know. I just know that His mercy rules the world. Praise God. Before we go into that dance and then close. Can you bring your Passover seed to the altar? If you drop it at the altar, begin to connect. Begin to connect to the blessings of this month. Kanama Masu Declado Payato Shekete Ledebay. So do 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 bo 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 sandala da da ba 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 ba. Can you begin to connect Sutupala Tarato Patoskele? Zindu Bala Tata Pato Toto Petoskele de 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 bos. Zando Bada da 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 ba 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 da sakata la da da ba ba. Zindu lo begin to say Lord with this seed I connect, with this seed I connect, with this seed I connect, with this seed I connect to the miracles, the miracles of the month of October. With this seed I connect. Somebody go ahead and begin to connect. Lanto seke de liarada baya. With this seed I connect in the name of Jesus. With this seed I connect. Somebody go ahead and connect with the seed. Nando lobo sakada la dabaya. With this seed I connect. Lanto sprana. Can you go ahead? Touch the oil and go back to your seed. Connect. Connect. Father, let them be connected. Let the people be connected to the miracles of the month. Let the people be connected. Land to scala, just your finger in it, just your finger in grand sacada. I connect just one finger into the oil with this seed. I connect, I connect. You didn't touch it, Cynthia. Yes, then to pran onto scala with this seed. I connect, I connect with this seed into the miracles of the month. I connect into this seed with this seed. I connect with this seed. I connect with this seed. I connect. To the miracles, Father, give them the miracles with the seed and batulu scana. Lambrondo skeli in dala koto baskada. Connect with this seed. I connect with this seed. Just your finger. Nandu broskeda. I connect with this seed into the miracles of the month. I connect. I connect with this seed. I connect with this seed. In Nabuda, just touch the oil. Go back to your seed is accomplished. Dando Balato Skili do Bonoscana. I connect with this seed. The Stoli Brando Kala do Bede Kalutus. In Grando Talus Keni in Drone. I connect with this seed into the miracles. Into the miracles of the month. With this seed in the name of Jesus. I connect. Connect with this seed. Just your finger touch the oil is enough. Thank you, Father. With this seed, I connect. Connect in the name of Jesus. Connect Lando Baraskana Zupri to Skelly. I connect Skelu Baradas. I connect with this seed. With this seed into the miracles of this month. I connect. I connect in the name of Jesus. I connect with this seed. Mantu Scana. I connect. I connect Scala to Loba Skidis. With this seed, I connect. I connect. I connect Satula. God bless you. Connect with this seed. I connect with this seed. I connect. I connect in the name of Jesus. I connect into the miracles. I connect in the name of Jesus. With this seed, I connect. I connect to the miracles. Still, he us. With this seed, I connect. I connect in the name of Jesus. With this seed, I connect. Just your fingers enough. With this seed, I connect. I connect. I connect. I connect. I connect. I connect. Somebody, have you connected? Ah, huh? have you connected? Thank you. You may be seated. 
relevant books are still here. The Millennium Temple, are you clapping? <laughs> Elysia of Immortality is in the series. Understanding the Righteousness of God. The Tabernacle of God, somebody keep shout. Mystery of the Age to Come, are you clapping? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we take just two minutes of praise? Before we share grace, can you, the band, just make it hot. Amen. Just two minutes. Take your trumpet, blow. Blow the trumpet. Introduce October. Introduce October. All the days of my life I praise you Everything that I have for you get to me, Baba Lord, I say for your love I'm grateful They see you love me plenty, you came to die for me Jehovah, Jehovah, Rafa, Jehovah, you see I am that I am my great provider I said surround There's no one else like you Lion of Judah You're the mighty man Heaven but now I am God has given me victory I am He has given me Make a noise I am God has given me victory I am He has given me Hallelujah 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 Hallelujah! 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 Come on, see what the Lord has done for us. He has taken the world and sold us on our free. Everybody, you say. Because of this, I do. Double double, whoever the best is that you to receive. God, your best of us is Everybody, lift your voice. God has given us victory. He has given us victory. Come on. So rejoice, I am now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Somebody celebrate the King glory. Everybody go! Everybody go! 
Yusa, Chukuna, 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 Yusa, Chukuna, 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 following announcement the we you know we can say we started petting children's hall yesterday today. put your hand together for Jesus the painting is going to continue today but um, the children teachers should uh, tell Pastor Israel or uh, Pastor Testimony the way the inside should be that's why we couldn't start from there the colors they want that hall inside. Discover the one that was broken has some colors. I don't know why that colors is there. <laughs> so they should tell us the colors they want. Maybe it's prophetic. <laughs> amen. It was we paint it today and tomorrow, amen. So that Amen. Praise God. You know, we're going to use it during the program in the program next week. Program. Praise God. Are you excited? Yes. Amen. The invitation committee for anniversary brought their card, a very beautiful card. Praise God. Amen. Headed by Ambassador. They just brought the card. So, and um, I'm handing over the card to police after this service so that if you, you have somebody you want to invite, invite the cans are not many, you can, you can get to police and get some few cards for the people you want to invite. Fine card. Are you clapping hand? <laughs> Silver Jubilee. Somebody jam your hand. It's beautiful. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Are you excited? Amen. Synod is on the way. Clap your hand. Why you should clap? We couldn't have it last year. So can't you clap? Coronavirus. <laughs> Amen. We couldn't gather here last year. and um, But today, coronavirus is not here. So we are going to be gathering here from Monday for intercessors, Thursday for pastors, and Friday morning the program will start 9 a.m. It's just church program for everyone. Don't say it's pastors or intercessors or those. I say we're not going to office on Friday, everybody, no shop. Just Sabbath. 
close your brush your mouth start coming to this place praise God now the preparation committee the anniversary committee you know you have we have a short time to perfect what we are doing the Lord is your strength in the name of Jesus don't forget that the Lord will reward you for all this effort we are making he will reward us he will do more than we ask in the name of Jesus because the building is still going on if you made pledges for the building we, we need the money now or those who are watching online from anywhere in the world we need your support for the program those who made pledges for the program please redeem your pledges we have tried to redeem more people should redeem so that there will be fun to you know perfect what we want to do is somebody blessed are you happy to be in October? The, to tell you how life is, the Bible says a living dog is better than a dead lion. That is how it is. Can you shout if you are alive? Can you shout? Somebody shout! may be seated we are doing extensive publicity very broad invitation explode in your Facebook explode in your YouTube use your pages radically keep posting and posting and keep sharing and sharing somebody share something that touched me he said, one of the nights I was preaching, and then, not here, not really here, she connected online, and started sharing. I started sharing. She said, one woman, after that program, called her. I said, you connected me to this man that teach this type of mysteries. Thank you. She just shared, and the thing came into her phone and then she connected and she said eh? <laughs> so throughout the program she keep connecting and then she had to get back to the person who who connected her to that message like if you were here on Tuesday that message on Tuesday is one of my best on earth <laughs> listen in 28 years of preaching it's still one of my deepest Infinite intelligence, Patre, is one of my deepest on earth. And then, yeah, yeah. Then, Patre. <laughs> that is why on Sunday we're preaching on ordinance and the fickleness of the water moment. <laughs> I, I, will I will talk about why there will be no seat there. Are you excited? Father, your people will never be naked. I, I bring that table, that table we talk about to you. You're going home with that table. Anywhere you lie down this morning, that table will appear there. I, I, I can't hear an amen. I say that table will appear there. I say that table will appear there. Because of the presence of that Nazarite table, you will not eat the food of the dead. Because of the guardian angel of that food and that table, demons will not give you food in the night. I thought somebody would shout a big amen. I lend you the cloth of the guardian angel of immortality. Those that wear the cloth of billionaires shall not be poor. 
Those that wear the clothes of immortality shall not see death. Those that put on the regalia, the robe of kings, shall not be ordinary people. I said, somebody, you shall not be ordinary. Can you shout amen and hear yourself? I say, you will never be ordinary. Call your name and say, Chris, Christian, October is your month. Nobody can reduce you. Can I tell you one more thing before we share grace? Make comprehensive effort to eat continuously from this table in five years in the message in the books. Don't forget, I write for the Lion of Judah. I write for God. For the King of Glory, for the Root of David. So when you open any book I wrote, there is a spirit you meet there in the pages. That's why you don't select the books. There is a spirit you meet. Father, your people are on their way home. In October, they will never be defeated. Somebody, did you say a big amen? Because you are here, you love to support. You will be supported. You will be supported. You will be supported. Lift your hand and say, I will be supported. Not only that, I will be supported. Family members will be supported. I didn't hear your amen. The dead in your family will come back to life. Can you say, oh, you dead men in my family. Come back to life. In the name of Jesus. Father, in October, we are blessed beyond measure. In Jesus' mighty name. Can you come? We are doing this last. Take up your own chauffeur. When I say praise God, you will blow your chauffeur. You blow your chauffeur. You blow. You blow your chauffeur. You blow your chauffeur. You. We are. We are declaring season of Passover. Amen. Amen. Can you stand? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Zoom sees. Praise the Lord. Oh! Uh -huh. 
Father, this apparatus is for our rising, coming down of our enemies. In Jesus' mighty name. Police, I don't know whether there's an announcement. You know, we have limited time. This is our last combined. You know. Is there any something for? Okay. okay. Praise God. Praise the Lord. The, that Monday is for all pastors. You know, we you know we are taking care of where people will stand. The Monday morning, I will write to the Rose that when I write your name, you know it's for fire. Praise God. Are you happy? Say to somebody, goodness and mercy shall follow you. In the month of October and all the days of your life, tell him and you will dwell in God's house in favor now and forevermore. So blessed be the name of the Lord, the Lord Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, who through the blood of his son has redeemed us from our sins, from our nations, temple and tribe of the earth, has made us kings that we might reign on earth. To him be glory and honor, praise and that's given world without end. Tell somebody your miracle just started. You say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes, you are. 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 